guys, I know you've been watching the process of the kitchen, but today we're gonna show you the actual finished reveal on the kitchen. And here it is behind me. So you guys can see, you guys know that before we had a very large um, island as well, we kept that with the house update. Um, the only thing we changed was we actually made it just a little longer this way. Um, we added this overhang, that did not happen. There was no overhang on the last island. But then we decided to do these amazing cabinets. Lionel and his team were like literally dreams to work with on the cabinetry. And this is such excellent workmanship that we have opted not to put stools here most of the time because we just really love showing off the, such the pretty finish. This countertop is a porcelain. And everyone always asks me if it's concrete and that was the idea. We um, wanted to give the concrete look without the weight and heaviness of concrete. Also concrete's very porous. So in my opinion, it's just not gonna wear well over time where porcelain is man-made. And so it is super, super hardy. One of the things I asked from day one was like, do not show me marble. I don't wanna talk about marble. I don't wanna see any marble. I'm never using marble because our last counters were marble and I hated them. Hated them, hated them, hated them. They did not wear well. So I was introduced to porcelain, which if you're looking for something that looks more updated and modern, but it is hardier actually than quartz and cheaper than marble, this is your dream. So I, have, I picked matte finish. They do have it in a shiny too, if you like shiny countertops, but I picked the matte. Um, we decided to do the waterfall edge, which I love. I feel like it just elevates the whole island and really makes it a focal point in the kitchen. And you guys remember we had a sink here. There was a big debate amongst our family members. Sean liked the sink, I hated the sink. Uh, you know, we had a, like a veggie sink, but I didn't feel like anyone ever used it except just like as a collection point. So, and I hated the way it broke up the island when we were doing parties, which we do quite often. And so we opted to just take out the sink and that also allowed us to do the waterfall edge because you didn't have to get into all the pieces and parts. So you can see the island. You guys know with the kitchen update, we tried to reuse everything we could. Um, so we kept all of the same appliances. So nothing has changed on the fridge the oven, the microwave, or the um, warmer drawer. And so pretty much we kind of maintained this section of cabinets. When we changed the cabinetries, the, these were like smaller and like segmented. We just went bigger. Like we took, you know, two, two where there were like two cabinets here, top and bottom, we made them all one. So we just like kind of made everything bigger and less drawery. So we went with, these cabinets are called um, thin rail shaker. Let's think about that for a second. So normal shaker is thick like this, like kind of a two inch or one and a half inch. We went with this teeny tiny rail, which is a um, more modern look, con more contemporary looking. We did black knobs, um, matte on all of the top cabinets. Well, actually we did black everywhere, except the island, which you'll see in a second is actually gold. So it's kind of fun to have two tones going both top and bottom, because you can see we did white paint. On, these are paint grade, white on top, and then we went with stain grade on the bottom. And again, Lionel and his team with the cabinetry, the wood. I mean, he hand cut all of this so that these like beautiful striations in the wood would show through and really pop for us in the kitchen, which makes all the difference. Mostly we did pulls on all of the drawers. So you can just see, you know, there's pulls. And then we did knobs on anything that was a door. Another big request of mine was an appliance garage because I always have like a blender or air fryer sitting out and I wanted somewhere to hide them. So here they are. This is not the pretty pieces of the kitchen, but it's all nicely tucked away and hidden. Okay, so when we redid the kitchen, I did a lot of organizing which was really nice. So you can see I have kind of mostly put stuff into clear tubs um, and labeled them all really appropriately. Things like this spice holder, you know, so that they're all pretty. I actually need to get a few more jars to do these. 
So Heather and her team from House Sprucing helped me design the kitchen and also helped kind of just facilitate some of the decor and came and styled some of it. So you can see just like little antique um, rollers. This was a crock I had that I love putting flowers in. This is our countertop butter. Um, I found this at an antique store, this little mushroom, and felt like it feels very like cottage core, which I love. Love this little thing. People ask me about this all the time, but it just has like little sayings and we flip it kind of like every week. Um, and it just is like a good reminder, I feel like, to my kids to try to be better. Um, and also to me, because I can read some of them and do a great job too. Okay, over here, uh, before we had just like a top wooden hood, when we redid the kitchen, I really wanted a plaster hood. It was a big thing to me. Shauna thought I was crazy, but I kept telling him, no, they're so beautiful. Um, and I had seen a Pinterest picture of one where they had brought it down on the sides like this and so we decided to try it and I actually have loved it. I love that it kind of frames the stove and really gives the kitchen like a centerpiece. I'm anticipating at Christmas a big wreath up there it will be so pretty. Sean wants me to tell you the story of the pot filler. So when we moved in, the people that built the house, uh, the contractors just I think they were putting it in when the stove wasn't there and so they walked really close to the wall and they put it like clear up here and so it was much too high for any, you know, average size human to reach it and then even when you did, it spilled all over. So one of my big asks was please move the pot filler down so that we can use it. So I obviously have used a mix of metals of different types of paint, uh, different textures which I love because it's a lot more eclectic, which I feel like makes it last longer and just stay in style longer. Um, over here, I mean, there's cookbooks from my awesome friends, like Kate Sarah. I have just different things, different paintings, dishes. I don't know, just like little decor pieces, bread boards. Um, we have bread bowls over here, some sourdough. Sour dough. Thanks to Sean's mom, please don't think I cooked this because I did not. Um, fruit bowls, you get the idea. Again, we carried the porcelain from the countertops all the way up the walls to try to make it feel uh, more, like elongate the wall and also just feel a little more dramatic. Um, on the drawers, okay, so again, magician Lionel and his team, can't say enough about them. Um, we discussed corner door options. So, you know, I, at the time, I think we had a Lazy Susan. We had the dishwasher here originally, if you guys remember, but I hated it because when it was open, you could never get to the cabinets. So we moved the dishwasher over here. We just literally flipped it, um, which gave us an extra row of drawers. Again, on the drawers, like we had, we would have had in this same space, four drawers before, and we just made them much bigger and hardier drawers and, and made them like less in number. I have, you know, tried to organize them all because I love good organization. So you can see all my Ziploc containers. But the corner drawers, these are my favorite. These are, I think they're called magic corner drawers, but you can see they just literally are shaped like a corner, which I love. So they're a little odd shaped on the front, but I love that they pull out and there's just, you know, lots and lots of room. I specifically requested no cabinets on the bottom. I wanted all drawers, as many drawers as possible because I feel like they just organize better and you can store things easier. So you can see on the top, we still did cabinetry, like or cabinets, but uh, down on the bottom, it's mostly drawers. So I got these little organizing things off of Amazon and then I labeled everything. And actually, believe it or not, my kids put it away when it's all labeled like this. It's amazing. Like it all stays where it's supposed to. So that's really nice. Um, trash cans, we switched out the sink. And the, I told you we switched to brass on the faucets, but the sink was originally a farm sink. Um, and it was silver, like a, not silver. Stainless steel. Stainless steel, thank you. And we switched to black, which is kind of fun. I had never thought about a black sink, but I really enjoy it. And pretty much that's it, y'all. Like. We added shelves, open shelves right there, so we lost a cabinet on each side. I wouldn't have done, personally, I wouldn't do open cabinetry across the whole thing because I would miss my cupboards too much and I like to keep things hidden. Um, but I love that we gave a couple little moments 
for decor and open shelving. And I love that we put the lights above too. So I love, love, love. Those are some of my favorite ads from the redo. Oh yeah, so we also, if you remember, we had one big hanging pendant here before. It was a Sputnik pendant, yes. Yeah, Sputnik, and we switched it out, which I love the Sputnik. It still is, it looked great. I just decided I wanted to go to two, and I really love um, how sprucing helped us pick these fixtures that have the gold on the bottom, so it really pops, or the brass on the bottom to pop some of the brass in the hardware and the faucets, which I love. Okay, so I already filmed a whole video about my organization in the new pantry. Um, we did switch out the tile. We, it was hardwood before we switched out to a really cute checkerboard tile. Um, you guys can watch the video. I will link it somewhere right here if you wanna watch the organization video. It looks amazing. Over here we have what we call the butler's pantry. We decided to carry the concrete look through to here too. A uh, really fun detail, we just happened to have a little bit of extra on our stone, and so we were like, well, let's cut it and run it up the sides, or up the back, and I, instead of tiling, and I love it. I love, love, love. It's a little moodier feel, which I actually really enjoy. We carried the stained wood through in here, too, to match the island, and the same brass hardware. Um, on this section of the kitchen, we decided to, instead of doing white stain grade, we also carried, because we just wanted this area to feel a little more like elevated. We did the stain grade all the way up and carried the brass um, and did little open shelving right here. I always have white dishes and cake stands, so this was perfect for some of my decor that I already had. Like truly, this is where I store a lot of like my serving pieces and things that we use for parties or events all the time. Added a cute little corner right here just with some faux greens and dried uh, little plants. I I actually could keep things alive if I really wanted to. I just always stress over the water, like getting all over everything. So this is just a little faux plant, a little picture to kind of make it feel a little homier. Some cake stands that occasionally when I have a second, I make some muffins and pop them in there. And that's pretty much it. This is this area, which I think turned out super awesome. I will put links to people that helped me, uh, like our cabinet guy or house sprucing down in the description box below for anyone looking and hope you guys love it as much as I do. Um, if you haven't already followed our channel, you can do that by clicking this button right here. Be sure to check out other videos by clicking over here. And when all of our furniture comes in the family room, we'll show you guys the updated family room and dining room too. But thanks to supply chain, we're still waiting. So that's gonna have to wait a minute.